He responded. I'm scared. If I look in my Venmo right now, he's lying. <gasps> no way. Before you judge the video title, just remember rent isn't cheap. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing great. Today's video, I mean, we all knew this day would come. Like, let's not act surprised. Let's not act like, what? Jordan got a sugar daddy? Let's be real. Like I said in the intro, I live in LA. If I have learned one thing from 2023, is that rent literally is an arm and a leg. It sucks the fun out of everything. And I was thinking the other night, if I could just eliminate that part of life, that'd be ideal. So in today's video, I'm going to attempt, keyword attempt, mm -hmm. I'm going to attempt to acquire Acquire sugar daddy, but I believe in myself consider this video like sugar daddies for dummies because I don't know what I'm doing And if you clicked on this video chances are you don't know what the fuck you're doing either I'm gonna be learning as I go too. make sure to go follow my Instagram and Twitter If you want to be included in future videos or send me numbers for future prank call videos, that'd be greatly appreciated Thank you. It's actually kind of funny I've done a sugar daddy video before where I like attempted to get a sugar daddy like looking back I wasn't really trying but today's video. I need to try mama has to keep the the lights on and mama is me you guys are probably like jordan why now like why are you attempting some would say courageous endeavor at your big age why now well, the other day I was on TikTok um, and I fell down a rabbit hole of some sugar daddy TikToks. I'm gonna show them to you real quick. Today I'm gonna tell you how to get sugar daddy, uh, aka a rich old man who will pay for your shit. I want that. I'm listening. So rule number one, go to your notebook and write down, dear diary, I will have sugar daddy by the end of the year, and then eat the paper because that's manifestation. Once you shut that paper out, you're gonna go to secretbenefits.com. They respond to you because you're hot and you're a young woman. Obviously, if they ask for any personal information, never send them money first if they ask. And look cute and act cute. I mean, easy enough. I don't think I'm gonna do the eating part. That doesn't sound something like that, that I want to do. I have a manifestation journal. If you're wondering, um, probably weren't, but I have a daddy by the end of today. I'm not eating it, so let's just hope that works its magic on its own. Here's another one. Things I have to do as a sugar baby have to accompany my daddy for his business trips. That sounds awful. Be the woman he takes for some party. If a sugar daddy was like, do you want to be my arm candy to the Met Gala? Everybody else at the event would be like, Jeff Bezos spotted with skinwalker question mark. And pretend that I love his kid. <laughs> And pretend that I love his kid. I can do that. I hate children, but like, I'll pretend. It's for the bit, you know? That would be me. But like, hey, you can't complain. You're on a boat. So before we get to the main attraction of today's video, um, we need to lay down the groundwork. I don't really want to join seeking arrangements because in my last sugar daddy video, like three years ago, I did that. And like, I didn't really see any results. I don't think let's join secret benefits instead of Jordan seven C let's do Jacob seven C I'll be Jacob for today. What are you looking for? I'm going to say a sugar baby looking for a life of luxury. I'm not lying. Your tagline money comes and goes, but twinks like me, that's funny because the one thing a twink will never do is think. Are forever. Ew. Okay. What do you have to offer? Nothing. Show the ladies you're for real and receive ladies. Am I about to get a sugar mama? The other app I'm going to be utilizing today um, is an app that many of us gay people don't really like. It's kind of the scum bottom of the barrel, the sixth ring of hell. Um, and that app is Grinder. Before this video started, I made an anonymous account on here um, and I used the name Jacob. And in the about me tab, I just said here for the bag. I didn't put a face picture. I want it to be mysterious. And I feel like without a face picture, the sugar daddies will want to reach out to you instead of like, if I put my fucking old twink ass face on it, they're gonna be like, Ugh, I'm okay. So I left it pretty, you know, anon. Now that I've shown you my inspiration and what is motivating me for today, and we've also laid down the groundwork, now we have to do some field research. And I'm giving myself two options of two different locations that I can go today. The two options that I can go to today are Beverly Hills and Calabasas. Those are my two options. Um, And I'm going to ask Siri to flip a coin. Let's say Beverly Hills is tails and Calabasas is heads. Hey Siri, flip a coin. It's heads. 
So I guess we're going to Calabasas. If you guys don't know what Calabasas is, it's basically where every single famous person has lived at least one time. All the rich people just, that's where they fester. And Calabasas is fairly close to me. What do I wear? Do I wear this? I mean, a crew neck and a dad hat. Like, rich people aren't out here, like, trying. No, you can't try, ever. Maybe I'll put in some jeans. Let's change real quick. Changing my pants so I don't scare the rich people. Why am I kind of excited? Rich people fascinate the hell out of me. My plan is that we're gonna get to Calabasas. I'm gonna open up the apps and a few of the websites that I've, you know, set up and I want it to ping my location there. I want to stand out. What do we want? A sugar daddy. When do we want him? Right now. Should we go to Calabasi? I hope I see like Trisha Paytas. I actually don't know where she lives. I could look. No, but I kind of want to peek. <laughs> I've made it to Calabasas. I've made it to Calabasas, everybody. Literally, what am I doing? When I was sitting in traffic and I was like filming the like street signs of Calabasas, I could like sense the other cars were like staring at me like, what the fuck is he doing? People probably think I'm like a paparazzi. Where do you go in Calabasas? I think where we want to go right now is the Calabasas Commons. I'm also really hungry. There's the Calabasas old people home. There's like a photo shoot happening right here. Hey, where are the commons though? Is this the commons? Oh my god, I'm here. <laughs> That's a lot of Teslas and a lot of black SUVs. There's a sign that says like the Calabasas Commons and then listed on one of the places here is the Barnes and Noble that Kylie Jenner met one of her friends at. There's this place called the Calabasas Commons and so we met at Barnes and Nobles. I feel like a kid in a candy store. The amount of paparazzi videos that have happened like literally right here. This car probably thinks, again, I'm like paparazzi. I swear I'm not, I'm just a loser. Where do I go? I could really use like a little snacky snack. Do rich people eat? Oh yeah, don't worry guys, I can go to the Rolex store. There's a Rite Aid. There's some things I have to pick up. Shut the f up. That is not who I think it is. Did I just? There is absolutely no way I just, I'm pretty sure I just saw Bella Hadid and Gigi Hadid's mom. She's wearing sunglasses. Oh yeah, and she's getting into a nice ass car. Was that her? I think it was. Look at the Rolex bell tower. That looks like something from the Vampire Diaries. So first thing, we're gonna go into Rite Aid real quick. I need like more face wash. Why am I nervous to go into a Rite Aid? I think it, I'm having imposter syndrome. Well, rightfully so. I'm not supposed to be here. I can confirm the Rite Aid in Calabasas is in fact nicer. You know, like at the front of a Rite Aid, you can buy like gum or like, like chapstick. No, at the front of this Rite Aid, literally near the check stand, they were selling like GoPros. <laughs> there was a lot of rich, older looking people in there. Oh my God, yep, there goes one of my potential sugar daddy candidates. As I'm walking out, I walk past a literal group of like teenage girls that are all wearing like private school outfits. And I'm like, wow, you could probably buy me. Is that a camera up there? Oh my God. They have some real life surveillance here. Sorry, I'll leave soon, I promise. All right, time to go into Calabasas Barnes and Noble and act confused. So hopefully a hot rich man will approach me. That's ideal. Oh my God, y'all. That is bad baby right there. Oh, oh my fucking God. That is bad baby. Oh, I'm in shock. Shut the fuck up. You're lying. You are lying. Okay, so I successfully went into Barnes and Noble. That was so terrifying. So many of the people in there are like Calabasas high school students, like just like studying. And I literally, I feel like a loiterer. I got this cute calendar. Like I didn't think I was actually gonna see any famous people here. If I wasn't in my car when I saw her, I would have literally asked for a picture. I love it here. I also peeked at the new Grinder account. Oh bitch, the DMs are starting to pop. This is not a fucking drill. I think I've squeezed Calabasas for all that it's worth. So now I'm gonna commute back home and we're going to go through my potential sugar daddies. I'm back from rich person land and I, I'm gonna switch into sweats. Okay, what? hi, I don't need that. I literally cannot believe I saw Bad Bunny, but Bad Bunny, Bad Baby, hello. I took a little peek at all the sugar daddy websites I signed up for. The actual sugar daddy websites are bringing in nothing for me, but I do think where the money is gonna be, 
is on Grindr. I haven't fully looked at all the messages yet. If you've never downloaded Grindr, don't. There is your disclaimer. It is the belly of the beast and it's somewhere you don't wanna be. I did get a lot of messages. Okay, ew, first of all, this rando said, hi there, generous here if you're down, looking for cute boys to hang out with tonight. 300. Okay, this feels illegal. Cause that's not the, no. I'm not looking to really give sugar if you're picking up what I'm putting down. I wanna text someone like, good morning, and then like get money. I'm gonna ask him, will you send me money just for me looking cute? Oh God, he's typing. I'd like to meet in person. Motel 6 Hollywood tonight? No, I'm I'm fine. I'm okay. I won't be doing that. Okay, let's move on to the next one because that's icky. This guy said, looking for Jen. I'm going to respond back to the Jen with, yeah, looking for a sugar daddy. Oh shit, this guy says, what type of bag are you searching for? Wait, what? Oh, it's because my bio says here for the bag. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, then I'll say back, hopefully one that's designer. All right, what am I doing with my life? Like genuinely, he said, oh my God. He said, I would be more than happy to make that happen for you. Oh, shut the, there's no way. What do I say back? Okay, other guy who said looking for Jen and I said, yeah, looking for a sugar daddy has not yet responded. Okay, well, what do I say to this? I would be more than happy to make that happen for you. Amazing heart. God, this is like brain surgery. I'm honestly looking for a man that's down to help me fund my luxurious lifestyle. I feel like I should add like a sparkle in there. There we go. What am I doing? It's for the plot, okay people? It's for the plot. The Jen guy says, that's perfect because I'm looking for a guy to spoil. Zinger. I'm gonna say, I'll happily be that person. Okay, and then to the um, type of bad guy, he said in all caps, LOL, you sound like you know what you want. Durr. Okay, I need to make sure these guys are real though. A lot of like sugar daddies on like Grindr or Tinder or wherever, like, they just want like your banking info. So again, don't do this. I mean, like I'm not discouraging getting your bag, but also like, be careful. I'm gonna say I do. I need to act casual about asking where he like lives. I'm gonna say you from around here. And he says, you seem pretty far from me. We gotta save this quick. I can already sense his attention span just leaping out the window. I'm gonna respond back with, not too far. I was hanging out with some friends today at the Calabasas Commons. Okay, I'm planting the seed of me being there. The other guy didn't respond yet. I mean, other guy I'm kind of sussed out by. The type of bad guy seems more, more our game. Oh God. He said, nice, did you have fun? I was there a few weeks ago getting new glasses. His pictures don't show him wearing any glasses, but whatever. I wish I could show you the pictures, but like I would be doxing a man, a rich man at that. He would rip me a new one. He would sue me, he'd sue my parents, and he would sue my dog and Barbara. Was there even a glasses place at Calabasas Commons? Oh, yeah. He said, would you mind sending me a face picture? Oh God. <laughs> I'm just gonna send him a picture of my face because I mean, he actually seems really nice and like, like who cares? I sent him a face picture. Now we wait. What if he's like, damn, you're ugly. Next. It's great for sugar daddies because I have chronic twink face. Maybe I should rebrand from twink to like twunk. Like if I started working out, ew. Could you guys imagine me with like forearms and like pecs? I think it would make everyone uncomfortable. Okay, so the other guy hasn't responded to the looking for someone to spoil and I said, I'll happily be that person. Let's browse the other chats I got. I got a sup from someone. Let's say, hey. Oh, but this person says they're a bottom. Are we gonna bump purses? He still hasn't responded yet. Oh no, was the face picture, was that the deal breaker? He's like, loving the personality, babe, but the up here, ooh, mm-mm. Watch, he'll be like, I'll send you the bag you were talking about, and it's a paper bag. I think I'm overthinking it. It already has been like three minutes, and he's been like rapid fire texting me. Everyone else is sending me like, you know, pants and like their apples. Uh, I don't want that. I want my rent paid. Okay, I'll come back when he responds. He responded. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay, so I sent my face picture. He said, handsome, where do you live? Uh I'm here in Hidden Hills. What did I fucking tell you guys? I knew it. I knew it. Hidden Hills. He's probably next door neighbors with Nicki Minaj. Now I'm panicking. I feel like Sugar Daddy's like a bougie sugar baby. So I'm gonna say I'm in West Hollywood. Now I need to sound like I belong in Calabasas. So I'm gonna say, oh fun, do you like it there? Like, of course he likes it there in Hidden Hills. What is he gonna say? No. Oh God, he's typing. <laughs> he said, it is quite the neighborhood. I will say that. That 
fucking emoji. I feel like that emoji is like calling me a peasant. Oh shit, he said, so you are looking for funding, question mark. I've been looking for a nice young man to be a companion of sorts. Would love for you to text me dash Skype me. Oh God, yeah, he's old. Throughout my busy work week. Occasional dinners on me, of course. Rich. I need to get to the bottom of this and I need to make sure he's like a real person because like he could be fake. I'm gonna say I'd be so down for all of that. I would, however, like to make sure you are real and not a fake account. Okay. A few moments later. Wow, shit's getting real, you guys. I'm scared. Okay, this man says, LOL, once again, and that all fucking caps. LOL, I am a real person. I also need a brief verification that you are a real person. What? Oh. I thought he was asking me for some freaky shit for a second. Send me a picture of you holding up three fingers and I'll do the same. Oh God, okay. Okay guys, we need to take a picture. How embarrassing. He said three fingers, right? Three fingers? My little stupid ass duck lips. Okay, now we wait. He said beautiful. And then right below it is a picture of him doing the same goddamn pose as me. What is happening? I said, aw, cute, smiley face. I said, how do you normally send money to people? Cause like, I wanna get somewhere. Like, right, that makes sense. Okay, hold on. There's a, he just sent a fuck ton. Said, I either do Zelle or Venmo just because it's easier in my opinion than cash. I mean, sounds safe. There's a paper trail. You can't kill me. I'll be like, hey, police records right there. Uh, oh shit. He said, what's your Venmo? I would like to confirm I'm able to send to you. <laughs> Bitch, there's no way. There's no way. I'm not giving him my phone number for Zell. Venmo, I can do. Can't you like block people on Venmo? What even is my Venmo? I said my Venmo is blank. There's no way. He's typing, he's <laughs> Am I dumb for this? No. A little. This man just said, amazing, seems to work. I sent a little something for your shopping trip today at the commons. Oh my God, I'm gonna pass out. If I look in my Venmo right now, he's bullshitting. He's lying. <gasps> this man just sent me a hundred fucking dollars. Oh, there's no way. Oh God, is it public? No, it's private. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Oh my God, well now I... What do I do? I said, OMG, thank you so much with the little pouty emoji because what? How is that a real transaction that just happened in my fucking Venmo? I need a minute. He hasn't responded yet. Oh, I need, I need, I need like eight, I need. I don't know what just happened. Maybe that was a one-time thing. Maybe he's pulling a Venmo scam on me. I don't know. I mean, I'm not sending it back. My mom's gonna be like, when I said it was time to get a real job, that's not what I meant. And if he could just send that just for confirmation, that means he's rich. I can't even think about it. I need to turn my brain off. I'm gonna go have a very large glass of wine. Thanks for watching.